Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In approximately two weeks, our country will hit its debt ceiling. House Republicans understand that this would be disastrous for our already fragile economy. And that's why we took decisive action to address the crisis responsibly and sensibly by passing the Limit, Save, and Grow Act. This legislation would not only end the debt limit crisis, but it would also address the root cause of that crisis, Washington's irresponsible spending. Since President Biden took office, the 10-year trajectory on federal spending has increased by a staggering $10 trillion. While House Republicans have been hard at work crafting solutions to the debt ceiling, this administration and House Democrats have wasted valuable time putting our nation's financial stability at risk. Two weeks ago, the White House Press Secretary flatly said the President is not going to negotiate on the debt ceiling. That's critical time that could have been spent on negotiations, not political stunts. And to make matters worse, President Biden is now leaving for an eight-day trip to Asia as our country teeters on the brink of default. It's time for our other side Gentlemen, to stop playing politics. Expired. We're out of time. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Gentleman yields back.